Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very complex problem. We have the Z, the complex number, A plus BI and it's LN which is obviously the complex logarithm and Z to the power LN Z is equal to 1. So first of all let's try to keep things simple. What happens if Z equals 1? Obviously, if the base is 1, then any power will give us 1, including the 0th power. So if z is equal to 1, then ln z is going to be 0, right? Let's just pretend that's what it is. And 1 to the power 0 is going to be 1. All good? That's it? Case closed? No. That's not the whole thing. So in order to be able to see the whole picture, we have to do something else. Now notice that... Well, come on. This channel is called what? A plus B. This is all about complex numbers. Notice that Z is a complex number. So we need to complexify things. And we're going to do it to 1. So how do you write 1 as a complex number? Easy. You should memorize this. 1 equals e to the power 2 pi and i. Because if you consider multiples of 2 pi, you're basically on the 0 positive real axis. And 1 unit away, that'll give you 1 on the complex plane all right so and obviously n is an integer and 2 pi n just represents multiples of 2 pi multiply by i and you get a complex number in the exponential form thanks to euler great now here's what we're going to do we're going to replace one with that and do a little bit of logarithms here so one equals that so i can write my equation as z to the power ln z equals e to the power 2 pi n i. Now, do, we, do I have to use a generic integer like n? Can I just not use 2 pi i? Yes, but that would just be the a particular solution. Obviously, there's going to be infinitely many solutions. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can solve this problem. There's a couple different things you can do. Uh, here's what I want to do. Whenever you have something like t, you can write it as e to the power ln t. And I think this is also true for complex numbers, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong. So I can write z to the power ln z as, by the way, I thought of a really, really nice problem for this channel, but I'm probably going to do it a little later. Maybe we can set a goal, like maybe we reach this many uh, subscribers or whatever. Anyways, that's a different story, but I really came up with, I think, in my opinion, it's a really nice problem. I haven't seen any problem like that before. Anyways, so a little commercial break. So... We're going to go ahead and write the z to the power ln z as e to the power, now be careful about this, ln z to the ln z. Make sense? So this guy here is this guy. I mean, not that whole thing. Sorry about that. I got to fix it. Okay. Here's where I should box it. So this guy comes from here. So e to the power ln something equals something. Okay. So this is equal to e to the power 2 pi and i. Now I have the e's, so we're all good, right? Let's go ahead and set them equal to each other. Now you might be questioning like, are you considering all the branches because you're just setting the exponent equal? Is that it? Yes, because we're using an integer n, so this should consider all the solutions. Okay? Now this gives us ln z to the ln z, which is better than z to the ln z, trust me, equals 2 pi and i. Great. Now... This is much better because we can now move the ln z to the front, bring it down, and that's going to give me ln z times ln z, which is super duper nice, equals 2 pi and i. Great. Now, ln z times ln z is ln z squared, right? And then I get this. Okay, great. How do you solve for ln z? Easy. Just square root both sides. But remember, i has two square roots so with the two square roots that are coming from the left hand side there's going to be a total of four but guess what there is much more than that because of n right n is the key here so we can go ahead and write ln z one of the solutions at least as ln z equals the square root of two pi and i who would like to square root this number this is imaginary so it should be easy right if n is positive this number is going to be on the positive imaginary axis. Is there a positive imaginary axis? I mean this one. It's going to be here. If n is less than 0, it's going to be here. Wait a minute. Can you square with a negative number? Of course. We're square with i. What are you talking about, right? We're doing complex numbers. Come on. You can square with anything. So, depending on the value of n, we're going to be in different uh, places. 
I couldn't find a better word. So, but yeah, I don't want to square root this. I want to make it easier. So how do I make it easier? I can separate at 2i and n pi. Uh, I just want to write it as n pi because it just is bugging me. n pi is a multiple of pi. Multiply by the square root of 2i. Of course, this, is, this could be problematic. You're dealing with complex numbers, but don't worry. We're going to consider all the square roots. Why is this important and why is this helpful? Because if you just remember from a previous video, I think we, we've done a video on this one, did we? Recently, yes. The problem that we did on the main channel, the other channel, the cyber math guy, whatever, cyber math, used this idea. What was that? It was 2i. 2i is actually 1 plus i squared because 1 plus i squared is 2i. Why? You can you know, uh, just do the work and you'll get it. So the square root of 2i can be 1 plus i. So from here, I get ln z equals square root of n pi, which is a constant, if n is fixed, times 1 plus i. But of course, this is one of the values. Let's just go ahead and solve for z, shall we? And then we'll go for the other solution. I'll tell you. To find z from here, we're going to do e to the power of both sides. So z is going to be e to the power square root of n pi multiplied by 1 plus i. Wow, a lot of complications or complexifications along the way. So how do you simplify something like this? e to the power of another complex number. You need to separate. Let's go ahead and separate them into e to the power square root of n pi plus square root of n pi i. And then since the exponents were added, that means multiplication, e to the power square root of n pi times e to the power i times the square root of n pi. Now, why did I write it i times something? Because I'm going to use Euler's formula again, but this time backwards. Why? Because I want to write this in standard form. I can leave it like that. That's perfectly fine. I think this should be perfectly fine, but I want to write it in standard form as well. So now here's how it goes. Remember, e to the i theta is cosine theta plus i sine theta. Using that idea, we can actually write this as e to the power of square root of n pi, which is the modulus times cosine of square root of n pi plus i sine, I don't think I need parentheses, would you forgive me for that? That would be z sub 1. And if, again, by doing the same type of work, I don't think we need to go through that again, right? That would be kind of redundant. You're going to get the other solution as e to the power negative n pi, because when you square root, remember you're going to get two values plus minus, right? And then this is going to be the same thing, but inside, of course, you're going to have negative square root of that. So I might need parentheses here, right? Let's use them. And this is going to be another solution. Obviously, these are not all the solutions, just a sample of what the problem looks like. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now there's much more. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we get from Wolfram Alpha, right? Uh-oh, what is this? Well, this is actually the graph of z to the power ln z. I try to graph it as a complex number and I use that tool. Hopefully I'm going to Remember to share the link with you. If I forget, please let me know because this is just amazing. I just find it mind-blowing, beautiful, beautiful graphs. And I'm pretty sure you have a lot to say about this. Anyways, this is what we get. Uh-oh, we knew that already z equals 1 is a real solution. Yes. And the complex solutions, again, there is much more than this, but I'm just showing you four of them. And... This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.